think I'd be hard pushed to be more contented than I am at this moment. Um, sitting on nice spongy grass, it's dry, the sun's beautifully warm, it's not ter it's not really warm, I think it's only about 10-11 degrees maybe, but the sun's making up for it, now I'm out the wind. Um, and the scenery is out of this world. I, uh, until, I, until I've come here the, the last couple of weeks, I've only been to Sky once. And I, all you hear all the time is about what a stunning, stunning place it is. And you do wonder sometimes whether places can live up to their expectations. I'm thinking my aunt uh, went to New Zealand a couple of years ago and uh, came back and I asked, asked her, how was it? And she went, um, well, it was nice. And I just had this feeling that she was just a tad underwhelmed because you hear so much about a place that you can maybe you can go expecting too much. And I think I think she just wasn't a New Zealand person. Personally, I found New Zealand amazing, but I'm one of those prone amazing New Zealand people. But sometimes you can suffer from having too high expectations, perhaps. But uh, Sky has met all the expectations I had and exceeded them. It just my holiday's not over yet. I've got a couple more days, and I'm hoping to maybe get up into the cooling on one day. But um, even if I can't, don't manage that. I've seen so much, and had such a mix of weather. I've had hail, snow, gales, power cuts, blizzards, rain, drizzle, fog, storms, sunshine. Just an amazing mix of everything. An amazing mix of every scenery type you can possibly imagine snow, beaches, rocks, crags, glens, streams, rivers, waterfalls. It's just sublime. An amazing mix. I can't recommend it enough. Although uh, I just, I, I, I can't deny having weather like this helps enormously. It's tea and cake time.